we started this whole thing with J. Cole bowing out. Mm-hmm. We like, that was it. J. Cole said, hey, oh, wait, I'm going to diss you, but I'm not going to really diss you. I'm going to apologize. Right. Mm-hmm. So again, I think we'd be remiss because we do have a Dreamville stand. Yes. We we, yeah. we have somebody who has pledged allegiance to <laughs> Still, I've never left the side. And now look, Cole fans up at the half. Yeah. Okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. are, I love the memes where it's like, um... Drake is like, yo, you beat your wife. And then Kendrick is like, oh, you're a pedophile. And then <laughs> J. Cole's like cooking dinner, like, ah, la, 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 la. Yeah, so like, I, and so I, I I always say whenever I start talking about Cole, I'm always like, I get that it was bad for hip hop that he literally dropped a diss track. It wasn't even that v- vicious. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. That was bad for hip hop. But like, when you think about it, why I respect it is like, J. Cole literally, he threw all the pride and ego away. Like he left it at the door and he was like, I have to be honest, I don't want to do this. I don't want you guys to start fucking talking about my wife. I don't want to talk about how Kendra can't rap, how Drake can't rap. He knew that's what he wanted to do. And then he couldn't just apologize privately. I personally think he had to do it publicly, dramatically like that to truly be left alone. And now, I mean, Again, like his pride could have kept him in something that he didn't want to do to mm-hmm. prove himself like, oh my God, I have to do it. I got myself into it. But he's like, honestly, I don't care. My legacy is going to be fine. I'm going to bow out. I don't care if you guys make me look stupid. Call <laughs> yeah. me stupid. I, this is just what I want to do. I respect it. Yeah. Pretty, I, I, I don't know. I get it, right? But how didn't Cole know what? The, the vitriol between the two of them? You, that, yo, maybe get he out didn't of my know. head, bro. <laughs> no, but I wrote this on my notes, nigga. Oh, then I mean, phone. like, if who they... told Cole that these <laughs> niggas were gonna do this? How did he know? Like, legit. Oh, I can see. How oh no, no. Alex has a different question. You're oh, asking, yeah. like, Mine's a little different. How didn't Cole know that they hit each other for Think, all these I years? But to then, know how did he know? Like, who told it's him? It's reverse of me. It's Alex. Okay, we'll do both. All right, cool. For me, I do want to focus on Cole for just a little bit because, like, he is a part of this. He has to He can't escape it. You're only getting five minutes, Cole. Of us. <laughs> Cole, you are the one out of the three who has spent the most time with both people. Facts. Over the years. What a great point. You get what I'm saying? So if anything, if anybody, you would know or get some sort of inkling about, oh man, when I bring up Drake Maybe around. Maybe it was just that it was well, a little yeah. inkling. He didn't know, I feel like, how deep it ran. Something tells me that Kendrick would have gave it to him tall. That's what I was thinking. Some yeah. <laughs> something tall. Yeah, be me. like, I hate Drake. Yeah, like <laughs> allegedly, right? Drake uh, reached out to Kendrick on first person shooter, right? Mm-hmm. That's to, to be to honest. get on to first get on first person, first person shooter, shooter yeah. right? So that's been revealed now. Mm-hmm. So you, to your point, you're right. Maybe not so much Drake. Maybe Drake was trying to let it go over the years. Mm-hmm. He didn't know where Kendrick's mind was at. Something tells me Kendrick told Cole, "Yo, dog, it's not you moving cool. over there with a widow." Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. And, and you want to know who told? I just want to know <laughs> how J Cole had to the get foresight out <laughs> because I said, I said one thing on the, like <laughs> crashing out has to happen. Like there hey, was no way that this was gonna end you, without somebody crashing out. You have, a, you have a drive, right? Okay. And see the car in front of you. Yep. Hit the brakes real fast. I hate them niggas. So then you get out the lane. I hate them. Niggas. That's what it was. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Break checking. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Don't don't it. don't yeah. involve me. It's break checking. They call it. I don't know. I just feel like he was really like honoring himself. As corny as that sounds, he's like, yeah, sound y'all bad, want corny. this. Y'all want this rap beef. You guys want yeah. it. But he literally was like, I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. Right. I'm out. Like. Right. So one thing that I can say about this, Kendrick's a liar. I mean, they're both lies. No, both. because <laughs> Wait, about what? only because yeah. Kendrick said he wants peace. <laughs> this is not peace. J. Cole this is, is the peace. real nigga that Literally? wants peace in this Yo, whole thing. Like, I remember I said in the group chat, I was like, y'all see why he's my favorite rapper? Yeah. All I want is peace. I don't care if you guys make fun of me for dipping on a rap beef. I don't care. I'm at peace. Don't like, forget, Kendrick said, and we're going to get to it, he likes his peace, but he'll turn it up if it means Drake bleeds. J. Cole is the definition of Peace and love. Bye.